I do this work because it's, uh, I believe in people. I believe if we understand our rights as a people and what we can do collectively, I think we, can, we, would, we would all do better. She had a way of drawing people in, uh, and it is a gift. Everybody doesn't have that capability, but I like that about her. Um, and she could meet them wherever they were, and before she finished, they were intrigued and wanted to learn more about her work. I met Nettie Code as a formal supervisor of my research health equity study. So usually supervisors don't say, I love you. Um, but Nettie Code uh, broke those barriers and didn't care about the uh, political way of just being professional. She wanted to pull me in to a more personable experience with her, and I was open to that. Many people in the community around Nettie, the people who knew her and spent time with her, referred to her as Mama Nettie. I think that that says it all. It took me a long time to figure out who actually was related to her because she would bring people into her family and in a very literal way. She would bring people into her home, she would feed them, she would, she would incorporate them into her family. And um, you know, it wasn't about biology. It, it was about who Nettie was. And she was a very giving person. She would, there wasn't anything she wouldn't do for you. She was a true friend. She invited me to her home, um, her laugh, was infectious. She, um, to some of our monthly Greensboro Health Disparities collaborative meetings, we would have food at every meeting and she would bring food from her kitchen. She brought rum cakes to the meetings and those were delicious. And, um, and she would encourage everybody, get something to eat. Her rum cakes were legendary. Nettie um, loved her neighborhood and she was very unique in the fact that she never left her neighborhood. She was a tireless activist for uh, bringing power back to her community. And I met a, a lady who said she used to live in old Ashbarrow neighborhood, but the crime had gotten so bad that she decided to move. But then uh, because of what Nettie did and, and others, she had help, the neighborhood had changed. And this lady was saying, I'm gonna move back here because this is really where I feel my home is. Nettie Code was a tenacious, unrelenting community activist. She was the executive director of the nonprofit called the Partnership Project. And the Partnership Project is a organization that hosts undoing racism trainings and racial equity trainings around Greensboro for various institutions and various other leaders. Nettie was very persuasive. It was hard to say no to her. So when she started talking, people listened. Nettie Code was able to see differently what are the root causes of these problems that are faced in the Black and African American community. Was it the people's fault? Was it that the behaviors were and the patterns were the problems? Or were there some other underlying factors that led to those problems? And so Nettie's lens of understanding deeper levels of root causes is what allowed her to see that there can be a change. She was talking about people coming to an understanding that racism is not about individual acts of meanness or bigots. It's about the structures and the, and the systems and the way that they've been established that favor um, white people over everybody else. The new perspective would be seeing racism as an institutional issue, not a personal issue. I think Nettie wants to make sure everybody learned that lesson because she often says, when people know better, they will do better. And that was still the education piece she always promoted. Once you, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. She wanted to do something about it, and she knew that something could be done. She had had enough successful wins in the old Ashboro neighborhood by working with the city on other projects that she realized we can be a part of making decisions and making a change for our own communities. And so she decided to get other people on board with it. Nettie would be delighted that there is so much more engagement locally in the community of Greensboro, nationally, and that there seems to be an awakening, a, a consciousness collectively of the need to really address racism on a systemic and structural level. When you don't 
fully engage all of the people in your community. Some of that talent is being missed. So uh, that's what I think Nettie um, helped us to see. She did a lot with um, building the careers of everybody, including me. And I'm so thankful for her. Yep. Yeah.